episode 14. I said that like it's a horse race. Huh? Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to episode 14. Out the gate. Happy Easter to everyone on this uh, lovely Great. Easter day. Yeah. Uh, how's your Easter weekend been, bro? It's good, man. Uh, yeah, today today's the day the Lord rised or risen or did rise. Today's the day. Huh? Risen, rosen, <laughs> rose. Right. I think so, bro. I, 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 Jesus, if I can remember like bread, my uh, <laughs> my Sundays. <laughs> Jesus had a yeast infection. <laughs> oh, bro. <laughs> Okay, yeah, hey, yeah, no, no, happy Jesus Day. I don't know, yeah, there's not a thing for you and your, 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 family, yeah. So, right? wait, well, 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 my mom's Catholic, and I mean, I went to Sunday school and I was taught well, indoctrinated for a few years of my life, and then I became woke. <laughs> you, I was without a PhD, yourself. bro. But <laughs> I was indoctrinated without a PhD, bro. <laughs> Nice, man. Um, out doctor it. <laughs> <laughs> and you were in a, in the Muff Town for like a couple of minutes. Yes, man. I was in Muff Town. It was my mom's birthday as well. So I went for her birthday. Her birthday is on on April Fool's Day. Did you did you do any? Did you get any April Fool's jokes or do any April Fool pranks? <laughs> no, bro. My life is an April Fool's joke right now, bro. Come on, dude. <laughs> He's like I'm a I'm a fool every day, bro. I don't need no day for that. I don't. <laughs> I'm twenty four seven, bro. Three sixty five. On April Fools, I'm like fool. Fool me once, shame on you. The next year, shame on me. <laughs> fool me twice. Fool me three times. Fuck the peace sign. <laughs> <laughs> no, the chopper. The- Read on these what I forgot J Cole, J. Cole, J. Cole. <laughs> Shout out to J Cole. Shout out to J Cole. Shout out, shout out. Not gonna ever watch this show. Yeah, man. Yeah. Uh, what else? So, you and you and you were, were you? Oh, sorry, man. Oh, just at home, bro. Just at home from left on. Did you go? Did you go home to Pretoria? Nah. Well, I got a yeah. I think I went to Pretoria for a day. I just got a haircut. <laughs> for real, man. <laughs> Never mind the whole Easter <laughs> festive shit. It's just like. I'm going home to get a haircut. This is a, I got a fire I got a fire a fire barber place in Pretoria that I discovered, bro. Yo. Uh, so it's like these turkey. Is he the guys. one or she the one? No, it's oh, like yeah. it's like these guys, guys are good. Yo. Uh, they got skills, bro. So you, they got skills with the scissors. Yeah, by the looks of your bar Boris Becker haircut, yeah. <laughs> they hooked you up, man. Yeah. <laughs> and it's so funny it's in Victoria bro so there's like a lot of Dutchmen that go there gang Dutchmen <laughs> and they're all all these Dutchmen yeah, it's are, funny, are, bro. are leaving with these like dope fades bro oh <laughs> looking, like, looking like they should be on Love Island <laughs> <laughs> yeah they look like they're about to go audition for Love Island or a Borussia <laughs> Frau. <laughs> have you ever watched that show bro I've never watched it no no no, I haven't. <laughs> yeah, but I hear it's like um, single wives, but just with Afrikaans folk. I, I wonder watched, if you, uh, Eugene. What, you wonder yeah. if Eugene? <laughs> so Eugene the Blanche would have ever gone in that show, bro. This is Bursuka Nation. <laughs> <laughs> Bursuka Nation. Wasn't that the four trackers? <laughs> that was what like this, man. The original OG. Yeah. I watched uh, Godzilla vs. King Kong. I saw I saw your tweet, bro. You could fucking spoil a tweet, oh, motherfucker. I thought everybody watched it, you know, man. <laughs> yeah. No, not everybody was fucking watching. Godzilla! <laughs> Godzilla! Go, oh, Godzilla fuck King Kong up. But anyway, if you haven't watched it, I won't spoil it even more. But I yeah. saw some clips here and there trending. It was funny when they showed the original one where he stops the tree. Inside Godzilla's mouth. <laughs> the original with the puppets. Yeah, that was funny. Yeah. yeah. Looks like the looked like some serious foreplay. Mm. Mm. Yeah, man. Speaking of foreplay, I think we're done here, bro. Let's uh, start. Yeah, the <laughs> nice one, nice one. <laughs> Let's start the show. Okay, so first up, sticking with the theme of the Holy Spirit, um, Limpopo passed the farts on congregation to heal them with God's power. Um, I've heard of people laying eggs during Easter, but 
<laughs> laying one into someone's mouth. <laughs> this guy must have an interesting diet before he goes to church, eh? <laughs> Probably eats eggs, like actual eggs, bro. Eggs, beans, and chicken licking, yeah. <laughs> Boiled eggs, bro. Not even Easter eggs. Those are Easter eggs, bro. <laughs> like, Easter is coming up. I need to get 18 eggs. Because <laughs> I got to get to, I got to do the Lord's work, bro. <laughs> We're in the Bible, bro. <laughs> Genesis, verse 5. <laughs> Thus the Lord said to Adam. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, man, the Popo's a uh, wild Popo. place, yo. Yo, dude. I wonder if avocados give you gas. <laughs> yo, 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 yo. Yeah, no, this is happening out here in the streets. In the church streets. Of yeah. the Ima Imagine, bro, you're going to church teary-eyed and you leave pink-eyed. <laughs> I'm a brown eye. Oh, man. <laughs> Uh, but that's the thing is like, what does this guy do if he doesn't have gas on the day so what happens if he shits himself while he's doing this because he's trying to force or gets a hernia <laughs> yo bro <laughs> yo bro this guy yo, we can't like uh, <laughs> regard the fact that this is work and that he has to come to work prepared <laughs> yo I'm sure, like, uh, Holy Communion is, uh, like you said, beans and eggs. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> shit, man. Well, yeah, shit, literally shit. So these pastors all, like, yeah. gotta, like, find new material as well, eh? Like us. Just like us, bro. <laughs> this is, this is kitchen, this is kitchen is night for him, this guy bro. Is like, yeah, like, thought about this, like, I know what to do next. So the petrol thing's been done, the eating grass has been done, <laughs> doom. The snakes are done, do all of. What can I do that's low budget? <laughs> uh, sure. But at least with COVID restrictions, you know, it's only 50 people getting this. It's not more than it used to. So. Yeah, it still doesn't make it better, bro. But yeah, when restrictions are over, I want to go to his church. This, yeah, I'll be still yeah. wearing a mask. That's for damn sure. <laughs> <laughs> This is the church where you must wear a mask, bro. Forget COVID. This is worse. I wonder if you can get COVID through gas like this, bro. Because I mean, in, in China, yeah. in China, they are doing anal swabs. So I guess. Yeah, yeah. But that's the Chinese. The link. Freaky like that, yeah, man. Yo. Yeah, so the, so the Limpopians. Mm, yeah. Limpopo and Chinese. Same, same. <laughs> same, same. <laughs> <laughs> uh, should we move on yeah we can yeah <laughs> pass yeah, I, think all, I, think all, I think we're all out of gas in this joke <laughs> talking about yeah pearl man pearl so <laughs> pearl to yeah see. pearl to see um so from gassing people's faces to gassing the public up pearl to see labeled dramatic after nocturnal krutman or krut boom sorry <laughs> krutman <laughs> i just the x krutman <laughs> krutman <laughs> Otherwise, <laughs> Otherwise, boom, <Krutman. laughs> boom. Mrs. Let's Big Tree. Again. <laughs> yes, uh, Pearl Tusi labeled dramatic after Nocolo Krut Boom posts. Uh, so yeah, um, I didn't like, I didn't see the social trend, but apparently the crocodile tears again. You know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's true. From Queen Sono to Drama Queen, yo, know, Brad. Yeah, she is a yeah. bit extra, eh? Yo. Yeah, like this also. I mean, I, I know in Sri Lankan culture, we do this for like the elderly, like we touch the feet and do this prayer thing. But mm. so I don't know in what African culture they do it here, but clearly cloud culture does it. <laughs> cloud culture. Um, That's brilliant. <laughs> cloud culture. That's so good. Yo. Agony's yeah, she is with crocodile. Oh, uh, she's crying as well, eh? Yo. Yeah, it's crocod crocodile tears time, boy. Lacoste. <laughs> Lacoste. Sponsored by Lacoste. Bro. Sponsored by Lacoste. <laughs> you know what I don't get, bro? I don't get, like, I didn't realize South Africans value news anchors so much, bro. Like, I didn't know any news anchors be Yo, before bro, this one, When bro. this like, popped up, I'm like, oh, this is definitely a black thing. I have no idea what's going on. 
I didn't know people worship SABC anchors, bro. Like, I mean, yeah. SABC. Even. Yeah, but <laughs> I think we, we. It's remarkable, but she's she's been in the game for a very very long time. I think since day one when SABC <clears throat> like started the news. Um. So she's been. Oh, in, so she was at the beginning. She was at the beginning. Yeah, bro. Yeah, because I mean, this chick even said what something about. I remember when I was four years. Whenever I cried, my mom would put the news. And once in a polo, boom. So I don't know. I wouldn't cry before the news. I'd cry <laughs> after the news. Because it was bad news. <laughs> yeah, man. I guess. Uh, <laughs> but apparently she used to say I love you or something at the end of the news. So oh, she, is it? Yeah. Maybe she's got that Rob. What's that Rob, Rob, um, Rob Burgundy swag? Oh, maybe. Eh? Maybe she got that. She got a bit of swag on the. Mm. I don't actually remember any of her news. In fact, I don't remember any news reports, to be honest. Like, Yo, and she's 60, Rob, and she looks so young. She's like black, don't Yeah, no, no. She's, she's, yeah, she's aging well, bro. Because when I look at her, oh, I mean, I'd still <laughs> hit that. <laughs> I'll show you my hood, boom. Okay, cut. We need to leave this article immediately, bro. Uh, uh, yeah. So I guess what we should, should we just retire this article? We <laughs> done here. As some retired, um, others have been fired. SABC retrenchments bulletin leaves newsreader overcome with emotion. Uh, yeah. So after the, you saw, there was about nine. I think nine hundred people or six hundred people. Yeah, six hundred employees. Yeah, yeah, six hundred. Yo, imagine, bro, you're a news anchor and you're reading your own <laughs> news just in. I'm you're unemployed. Re- you're <laughs> <laughs> Please help. I'm going to lose my house. You're soon. reading your own resignation letter, bro. Uh, the teleprompter is, you're fired. He's like, what? <laughs> and now to the weather. <laughs> <laughs> That's too late, bro. And then while she's crying, the weatherman's like, what's wrong? Well, I'm feeling under the weather. Oh wow! Oh wow! It's a free show. Yo. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Is there vi- is there a video of her crying? No, yo, here it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Broke down and it was slow, bruh. It was a slow breakdown, bruh. Mm. Mm. She's chilled, and right at the end, she's like, <laughs> "I'm unemployed." <laughs> That's so. Did like you from the SABC. A- She's like, how am I going to pay that BMW installment? Shit. Yeah. I'm going to have to go back to Midrand. Damn it. <laughs> and and use Camp Masters as my couch. Yeah, there you go. There you go. You can see it. Oh, there it goes. Just at the end. Oh, wait. I didn't see it. Right at the end. There we go. Oh, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> Tell you, bro. That's the last two words she saw at the end. You're fired. <laughs> I'm so no for tech. Uh, so we at the unemployment uh, community. community would like to welcome all SABC employees. Ala 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 ala. Join us, join us. We're here together. We hope you enjoy your stay. <laughs> hope you're not here for too long. Yeah, yeah. For the sake of the country and the economy, mm, I hope. Cause... um you get employed soon, man. Six hundred what? Yo, that's like that could be six hundred Totsies out in the streets now. Yo, <laughs> and if they come from SABC, they're definitely Totsies, bro. <laughs> but people were saying like the, the politicians are the one that must get fired because this is the same as the uh, SABC and SAA, same WhatsApp group now as well. Yeah, bro. SABC in terms, and in terms SAA of a business that doesn't make money. I don't think SABC makes yeah. money, bro. Not even from advertising. Well, the actors and oh, the I know they, don't they, get that money. They didn't pay sure. us. Yeah. They didn't pay us shit. So, so I can't empathize with you, woman. At least you were paid. You know? <laughs> <laughs> the studio audience was paid, guys. The studio audience. Not even the talent. The studio audience. Yo, bruh. You're getting triggered, bruh. Looking at this. <laughs> bruh. I want to move on from this quick, bro. It's okay. So next up, staying in South Africa, uh, latex topping on pizza shocks family at favorite restaurant. Um, yeah, so they got extra, extra toppings. 
but it, at least it's the clean it's the clean latex not the dirty latex yeah, yeah but i'm more disgusted by the pizza that was on that pizza like the pineapple sorry <laughs> <laughs> the pineapple on that I can't no, even see, bro. Pineapple. No, in the article, he says, yeah. You order I think that was, that was the family's pineapple. first mistake. Why are you ordering pineapples? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is gross, bro. I hope you got his money back and, like, a free pizza. But that's nasty. That is nasty. Apparently, yeah. Yeah, it was his daughter that was eating the pizza. And, yo. Yeah. She went nah. She's like, this, say, she she's like, this so slice nah. is chewy. <laughs> Uh, nar. I guess this is what happens also with like COVID and this obsession of wearing gloves and shit. You know, I mean, I don't mind if my dough is touched bare hand. <laughs> Take that however you want, ladies and gents. <laughs> wow. <laughs> yeah, these chefs are yeah. using protection, right? <laughs> Yeah, that's what I said. I was actually a bit disappointed with this article. I was like, oh, latex. I was like, shit, this is getting wild. Someone was having sex in the oven. And then, no. Uh, Can I have the feather just... light pizza? Wink, wink. <laughs> <laughs> it's like this pizza tastes ribbed. <laughs> or a <the> chicken. <laughs> Yo. Yo, that was fire. Shit. <laughs> 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 the compliments to the chef yeah he's a stud <laughs> do you like to say welcome to africa oil and power welcome, on our show welcome africa oil and power welcome to the sunday best podcast yeah um so this article says car power ship to provide ship to shore electricity to south africa uh, i don't know if you heard about this bro but uh this is we're getting what to a, me yeah yeah, no, this is proper. Like, this is the, there's a 218 billion rand contract from the Turkish, to provide electricity from the Turkish, bro. Yeah, and this is the only company that does this, bro. So what they do is they have they've got uh, gas power stations built on ships, yeah. and these ships park on your coastal regions, and then they provide energy into your power grid. Yeah, it's fascinating. Um, it sounds cool, man. It sounds cool. It does sound cool, and it sounds great. It sounds like good news in terms of us getting power. But the bad news is. When you look at the number, of the, the cost of the contract, I'm like, someone <laughs> is going to make lots of money. 218 <laughs> billion. That's a lot of zeros, bro. That's a lot of zeros. Yo, bro. And it's going to cost South Africa 10.9 billion every year. Yeah. So you know your ESCOM bill is going to go up, bro. <laughs> um, <sighs> wow, that's hectic, bro. Do you see there in the third paragraph what they call the program? Amazing. So it says preferred bidders in South Africa risks. Um, it, what is it? Risk mitigation, independent power producer procurement program. That's a mouthful. I guess, I guess in the meeting they call it they call it an R M I P P P P. <laughs> so it says R M I triple P <laughs> or oh, quadruple P program. Yeah. <laughs> this call it we love load shedding. That's this, 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 that's what the program is, bro. Just to stop load shedding. Project to stop load shed. You know. Let's stop shedding our load, South Africa. Yeah. 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 Is, okay. So this is I don't know. Yeah. This is crazy, man. I thought this was yeah. No. Quite I interesting. I, didn't... I don't have much jokes on it, but it's fascinating. <laughs> yeah. Same. I just thought it would be interesting for people to know this is where we're going with our energy. I thought it was quite shocking news. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, can't top that bro can't top that. <laughs> um yeah so let's let's see how it goes with our power yeah. power to the people <laughs> power from the people to the people from turkey bro. yeah these are the same guys that cut my hair yeah bro, so <laughs> so i guess this is our turkish delight <laughs> yeah so sticking with the uh, ships <laughs> um, from sorry, sorry, good sorry, ships to bad ships and hardships. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry, man. 
I'll start that joke from the top. From good chips no, no, to no. bad chips to hard chips. Uh, so this says memes mocking Swiss canal blockage spurred rescue teams to work even harder. Marina on the job. Um, yeah, so you saw the memes, eh? Of yeah, yeah, Swiss canal being blocked. There's a couple on the article, yeah. Um, yeah, this whole ship blocked the canal. Yeah, it's quite interesting. I don't even know if people, many people knew about the Swiss canal before this whole incident. It's it's uh, it's actually uh, submerged in a lot of controversy um what is the history of the canal in terms of like occupation so because it's it was initially egyptian owned land and then i think the uh i don't know if it was israel or the british the british and the oh, french sorry the french and the british fought over taking ownership of the land and they fought against the egyptians and they actually bombed the shit out of them and said no motherfucker Eesh. we need it for trade colonization mm-hmm. once again yeah, it, it's actually a result of colonization because of the trade between like Asia and getting stuff to Europe. Because instead of going around Africa and stopping in Cape Town, they would go through the Swiss Canal. Oh wow, yeah. wow, yeah, damn. Because they even showed they even showed the alternative routes for traders after it's been blocked. So a lot of people in Cape Town were excited, we're like, "Yay, more foreign people in our foreign oh. land." <laughs> so. Okay, okay, okay. The Swiss Canal. I'm sure there's. I'm sure we could have gotten a PS5 through this, bro, by the dogs. I'm sure. <laughs> yeah, this is all a rouge, bro. Somebody just did this so they could get a PS5, bro. Yeah. <laughs> this this was funny. This was the one I saw, bro. <laughs> Yo, bro. The little engine that could, bro. The little, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I saw I saw one with where they showed a Formula 1 car trying to pull it or whatever, and they showed... <laughs> someone said this... Someone said uh, university degree uh, assignment, some shit like that. It was so, so, so this pleasant. is not a meme. This is an actual photo, right? This is an actual photo, but they replaced this uh, called excavator with other pictures. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> that's the Austin and there was this. One. It's pretty funny. Yeah. This is funny. That's, what, that's exactly what I thought of <laughs> when I saw the picture. <laughs> Yeah, see, I don't know what this. I think this is. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> Yo, what the fuck? And only you can do that joke, bro. That's so good. I'm mm. allowed to do that joke. Yeah, I'm allowed. <laughs> yeah, bro. That's probably the yellow one. That's brown one. privilege. That's brown privilege, bro. Brown privilege. Shout out to brown privilege. <laughs> Yeah, man. This probably how, like an, this could be an ad for constipation, bro, for a constipation pill or something, bro. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, because it says you on the right. Things I need to do on the left. That one cup of tea. Oh, uh, yeah. No, in the e- in the east we love our tea, guys. We love oh masala tea, chai tea, name it seed on oh, tea. Okay. That's why the, that's why the tea joke is good for Asians. <laughs> um, and yeah, I don't know what's going on here. The Egyptian team of the tugboat. Yeah, this is when they freed the boat. They were celebrating like oh, the, is it? like they won the World Cup or something. <laughs> like Sa- like Salah just scored. <laughs> Yo. Like uh, like Afcon every year. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> this is how they celebrated after they made the pyramids, yo, as well. <laughs> this is after burying Tutankhamun. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> happiness boy happiness. So, so translation to that is ship is free shit yeah shame Egypt <laughs> they just had a bad relationship <laughs> yeah. uh, oh man <laughs> So um should we should we dock this article? <laughs> we can yeah. <laughs> we can we can uh, lift the anchor on this. Yeah, so 
this is for last but not least, I also thought it was quite interesting. Going to space for long periods shrinks people's hearts, even if they exercise in orbit, study finds. Um, yeah, also, dating my ex-girlfriend shrinks people's hearts. <laughs> so funny i was like my ex must have gone to the moon a couple of times because that <laughs> fucking bitch oh that's when you said baby you're you're out of this world babe <laughs> <laughs> yeah bro oh man <laughs> this is funny this might stop people from going to space though man that sounds hectic yeah it's quite interesting it just shows that gravity helps us Pump our hearts, bro. Yeah. Oh, that's fascinating. Wow. So you need gravity for your heart to keep pumping because the blood needs to flow against the force of gravity, which is fascinating, right? Yeah. That's mm -hmm. really cool. I wonder if it makes anything else small. Lur. <laughs> Yo, bro. Because then I'm definitely not going to space. I am. Well, I mean, I guess if your heart starts shrinking, you don't pump enough blood. Then you, it would be a difficult to get an erection because you need blood flow for an erection. Yes. yes. So, so, so it would make things smaller. In summary, I'm staying down to earth thanks to gravity. <laughs> <laughs> Stay humble, yo. <laughs> Stay humble. Keep your heart. Keep your heart small. Yes. Be grounded, bro. Be grounded, guys. You know, the more grounded you are, the bigger your dick. This big dick energy means needs you to be grounded. There's no big <laughs> energy in space. <laughs> nah, bro. There ain't, no, ain't nobody got time for that, bro. <laughs> oh, this is also fascinating how they did this test. So this guy was in space for like a year, right? Yeah, I was in orbit for a year. Yeah, and then his he name his name is actually uh, what's it uh, Ke Scott Kelly, bro. Scott Kelly, yo, yo hey. Yo. <laughs> could be, could, could be yeah, one of your family members. You never know, bro. Yeah. Hit him up with an email. Say yo, <laughs> hey cousin. Hey, oh hey <laughs> uncle i know your heart's gotten smaller but i know it's in the right place i'm here <laughs> but i know your pocket got bigger hook me up but it was fascinating in the article they say he's got a twin so then they did yeah. the test because he has a twin so they could see that his heart is smaller and than before because he has a that's twin. how they measured it so if you, if you didn't have a twin how, how would they have measured it it's true eh? fascinating that's really interesting yo they, these guys are adamant about living in space brad to be doing this sort of research yeah yeah i mean that's what the international space station is all about as well it's about research try to understand you know, material within an anti-gravitational space to, because to produce anti-gravity anti-gravi chambers in South Africa, um, in South Africa, well, I know in South Africa it costs a lot, probably more than the, the, the power ships. <laughs> <laughs> it's a lot of billions, a lot. Yeah. So it costs a lot to make anti-gravity machines on land. So we'd rather just shoot something out into space. Okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it's quite interesting because I've watched a couple of videos in the ISS and you can see Guys constantly working out to try and because you because you get muscle muscle loss or whatever, so you got to keep building it. What so was that thing? That it didn't really uh, help. What was that thing Goku was in a hyperbolic chamber? Yeah, where they would shoot the gravity to like yeah. as high as possible, <laughs> so that you could you could do sit ups against next level like black hole <laughs> gravity, bro. Yeah, so you, on your way to to go fight Frieza, you must be working out. <laughs> Yeah, but I mean, Goku's. Yeah, I mean, you could tell as the show progressed, Goku's heart got smaller. I mean, he didn't give a shit about Yamcha, Piccolo. He just moved on from the motherfuckers. <laughs> Even Vegeta. <laughs> oh, Vegeta didn't have a heart, bro. <laughs> yeah, he, but he came from outer space, bro. So. <laughs> oh yeah, he was an alien first. <sighs> okay, yeah, no, yo, we nerded out there on Dragon Ball Z. We back. Yo, yeah, we full <laughs> nerded out, bro. <laughs> Shout out to the anime fans out there. Um, yeah, so we done with this. Have we gone around it a few times? <laughs> yeah, we can blast off. <laughs> 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 oh, man. No, I'm doing it. Yo. <laughs> oh, it's funny, bro. <laughs> 
Cool. The joke landed. <laughs> oh, there's so many, bro. Oh, that was uh, that joke. You could go forever, bro. <laughs> <laughs> there's so many. There's so many. Yo. Uh, it's too easy. <laughs> yeah, man. That was good. That was a good jam session, man. Um, yeah, good Sunday. Yeah, episode, episode fourteen, man. We're done, yeah. Yeah. The resurrection. Yeah. It's the resurrection. <laughs> <laughs> that's what it's about isn't it that that's what easter is about the, the resurrection that's what the egg symbolizes rebirth yeah. or whatever i think yeah and, and i don't know I what don't, the fuck but in i don't africa, know what the fuck the bunny is about yeah south africa it's maria did they go to maria maria yeah yeah they did they did i mean it's great in maria they do that jumping thing eh yeah 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 yeah, yeah those guys yeah. those guys really fight gra- gravity there bro <laughs> But they got big hearts, yo. Shout out to us, it's, it's and, and big stars. <laughs> Alright, cool. We out. Episode 14. Thank you for Peace, tuning in. Yeah.